The subject is upgrading my hard drive from Andrew Jameson. Hey, Andrew. Hello, Robbie and Christy. I am going to up Becca. and Becca. I am going to upgrade my current Windows HDD with a larger one, and I had a few questions regarding how to get the data transferred over. First, let me tell you what my hardware is. The drive I am replacing is a 300 gigabyte IDE drive. I am replacing this with a 1 TB SATA drive, and the drive I am replacing contains the MBR. Here is my question. Is it better to get a program I can boot into and do a sector by sector copy of the old drive onto the new one, or is it better to restore a fresh backup to the new HDD? I ask because I am interested in, retra in retaining all data and having Windows still function. I'm not sure if a disk clone is usable, is usable, ah, usable <laughs> in a situation where the source drive was in fact the Windows boot drive. Thanks, Andy. Okay, so what Andy's uh, saying there is, okay, he's got a hard drive that's 300 gigs in there right now, replacing it with a one terabyte drive. So 300 gigabytes versus just more than 1,000 uh, gigabytes. So, uh, but the MBR, that's the master boot record. So that's uh, like when you turn on your computer, it looks for the master boot record, the bootloader uh, on your system, and that's on that hard drive. So he's afraid if he moves things, you know, if he moves the data onto another hard drive, is the computer going to boot because the master boot record is on that 300 gig hard drive? Mm -hmm. uh, so simply put, uh, Andrew, th to answer your question, when you do a clone or, uh, like you say, a clone of that hard drive um, using, say, if you've got commercial uh, version of Norton Ghost, uh, if you're using Clonezilla is an open source uh, kind of alternative, uh, you'll actually be copying the drive itself. Uh, in such a way that the system, generally speaking, doesn't really know the difference. It's gonna, it's still gonna boot from that hard drive. Uh, but it, it, I would encourage you to check out Clonezilla. I can pull up uh, the website here just to to take a quick look. Clonezilla.org, and this is a free piece of software uh, that's quite similar to Norton Ghost. Uh, however, it's got some. Uh, some other options that, that Ghost in itself doesn't have, and Ghost being a, a commercial application, it's this you know this is free. It's got some extra stuff. Uh, you're able to ins uh, do your cloning over a network and things like that, which isn't going to help you in this case, but uh, but it can help uh, if you, if somebody else out there is looking for a cloning product uh, that wants to be able to do that. That's a pretty cool feature. Uh, we use that at work where it's like we get 30 computers in to to clone, and it's nice that we can just send it out over the network from one source image out to 30 computers and it, and it does it all through the network and so that's really really nice. Uh, Ghost on the other hand, uh, other than maybe some newer versions, I'm not sure, but the version that I've used uh, is relatively old and didn't have that. So, But uh, clonezilla.org is the place to go to check out that application. That software is going to allow you to just basically clone the hard drive in such a way that you are going to be able to boot from, from the drive just as normal. But you're going to get the extra space at the one terabyte drive so that's pretty cool. So hope that that helps you out, points you in the right direction, give it a go, and just, you know, keep that 300 gig drive, don't wipe it out until you've tried and true the, uh, the one terabyte. You want to make sure that, yeah, this is working for me, it's reliable, it's, you know, it's working out, and, uh, you know, use it for a couple of weeks before you go and, and format that 300 gigabyte drive, okay? Just to have that little bit of safe redundancy, and of course, I always recommend that you have redundancy anyways, keep a backup, just in case, all right?